We're back with another video. We're currently on charge because we're actually taking it to get done today, get sorted. Uh, at least the parking brake anyway. The parking brake has failed. Which is a very common thing with the generation of X5s and older. Uh, but obviously the BMW do is like, what? What? You've never heard of anything like that before. Apparently it's going to cost a lot to fix. I mean, if we need to replace the whole system, which is really freaking annoying because I just want to get rid of this thing. So anyway, battery's dead. Battery's in the back, but... There's a charging point in the front. As you can see, this thing is nasty. Now they actually quoted me, BMW, this is to replace all the tires because I wanted to get them all done because there's some running kind of flat and there's some that slow flat tires as you know but they quoted me £1,000 to replace all four tires on this heap that's more than the TT's worth so I have my trusted 20p and we're going to test if these tires are okay okay that one definitely isn't <laughs> both the rears are basically illegal the front is basically ha ah, that one's legal <laughs> So today we're going to be, I am going to be painting my tires. Now I know there's multiple ways to do this. You can use stickers, which is the best way. It's the most expensive way. But for me, I don't want big lettering that goes over some of the text that's already there. I just want to highlight what's already there, which is Michelin on these tires. I want to practice. We already practiced on some of the old TT wheels over there, uh, but we're actually going to try now on the RCF. I do want to do it eventually on the Skyline. That's what I want to do the most. The RCF wheels, the rear ones, need to be replaced super soon. So that's why I'm doing those ones first. So here's what we got with one coat of testing. It looks pretty good from a distance. The wheel looks like rubbish, but test. So I think without further ado, we shall write in the Michelin. So the majority of it is in the preparation. So you have to clean it. Uh, we're using just the general multi-purpose cleaner. Clean it a lot until the rag is basically not bringing off any more muck because tires get very dirty and obviously you want the paint to go on properly. The better you clean it, the better the paint will go on. The X5 is back from BMW, and so am I. So Meadow is uh, using her art degree to help <laughs> with that. Looking pretty sweet so far. Here's a view of it. We've done one of them. Quite a few coats. Want it to be perfect anyway. So the X5, let's talk about the X5 a little bit. The actuator, as I assumed it would be, the, the actuator, it goes bad on these X5. Basically, I think it was going out when the person sold it and we bought we bought a lemon basically but the, the wheels good news the wheels are only the rears need to be replaced one of the rears they're actually quite a bit above the legal limit so we can run those for a while but what i think i'm gonna do is buy the part myself and install it myself the part that they want to fit to fit and to buy the part or the part in which will take a week they want 1100 and something pounds i don't think so because the part on ebay is around 180 pounds 200 pounds for the part and they work they're probably the same on the x6 x5 so i can find a used one for probably cheaper 
it's ridiculous. That's how much money you can be saving if you do a little bit yourself. And even if I can't do it myself, I can take it to a backyard, backyard garage and they'd probably have no problem fitting it for 100, 200 pounds. But yeah, um, if you drive a premium car like this, expect that to be the case on multiple things uh, and just get the part yourself and take it to another garage if you're not mechanically inclined. Well, me, I'm gonna try and do it myself and probably mess it up and then take it. But the thing is, I thought if I remove the part, it doesn't work anyway. So it's not like I can't just poodle down to the shop and get someone to do it for me. I'll show you in a minute the finished product. That's put back in the corner. Thank you, Meadow. And the Skyline is next because uh, there's a blown speaker, I believe. If not, it's just almost there. Uh, so we're gonna rip out the back seats. We've done it a million times before. First, we need to move the TT. Just push it. I don't, there's not much battery left. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play sound, look at the speakers, I've got the parcel shelf off. Um, it's actually relatively easy, it's just a pain. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna play sound with that through my phone, and then we're gonna figure out which speaker is dead. Ignoring the beeping, this is the back right speaker. So yeah, that's gone. <laughs> this aftermarket unit obviously lets me play the sound wherever I want. <laughs> Speakers out, it's Alpine, I think. That's what comes stock. I think the Skylines came with an Alpine stereo, single din, which would explain why there's the, those speakers, but they're not really that bad. Like at low volume, they're pretty cruddy. I don't want to do like an audio system because honestly, that's most of the time I drive this car and just listen to pure bliss of the engine sound. It's the best sound, but I do want to get the speaker system just in case I'm sat in traffic or, you know, something. It's, I have a stereo system, I want speakers. I'm gonna look online to get myself another one of these, which I probably won't be able to. I mean, sure, I'll be able to get a used one or something, but I might just look at replacing it and doing a cheap system of unplugging the old ones and putting in new ones all around. Because, I mean, literally, if they're as old as the car, they're pretty old. <laughs> pretty simple, just taking the seats out again. We've done that before. Uh, there are child restraints if you've got them. I didn't have them, which made my life much easier. But to give you a quick view of what the inside looks like, without the back seats I've shown you before. And as you saw in a previous video, I blacked out this, which looks much better. It's hard to show you in this awful light. There we go. So interior is kind of gray. That's kind of black. I think it works pretty well. I have all but like two seconds of battery life left, if that. But uh, here's the finished wheels. I mean, we've done one side. We've yet to do another side because you need quite a few pens, but all we used is Sharpie pens. If you want to use those, they seem to be good. I'll do. I'll keep you updated on it to see if it, it lasts. That's the main thing. Hey, I'm using my old Sony little handheld camera, which is actually amazing. Uh, I realized I didn't actually talk about as to what we used. Uh, we used an oil-based uh, Sharpie. Um, I'll, I'll show you them in a second, but the, the best ones I personally think is the fine point ones. Uh, per wheel, to give you an idea, this one bit here, which I still can't get over how cool that looks. And when it's in motion, it's gonna look even cooler. I know it's like, oh, right, sir, oh, right. There's actually another Michelin thing here. So per tire, usually there's like two brand things. I would say two pens per part. So uh, you're looking at two, four, six, eight, 16 to get yourself a full car kind of done. What I'm gonna say is I would hold off of doing it just until I can confirm that it lasts because that's the one thing I, I I've seen other people do it with different types of pens and stuff. Oil seems to be oil based paint seems to be the best thing to do. Clean it well. The only place I could find these was on eBay. This so this is a medium point one. This one right here and this is the fine point one. You could probably get away with doing two fine point ones, maybe three because it is a, got a little bit more in it. Uh, basically, did the outlines with the fine. Did the inner with this. Bob's your uncle, you've got yourself some tile writing, and as I said, I will update you over the course of how it works out, and obviously if it works out for more than a month, I'd say, before yellowing or flaking or whatever, 
I'm gonna do it to the skyline. But for now, we have one, one tire with one Michelin thing, but uh, it's a cool project. Little things you can do on a budget with a pants man, Maji. It's now raining. But thank you so much for watching us. If you enjoy and you wanna see more car vlogs, please be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and we'll fix everything in the next video, hopefully. We, we, we did, we basically halved every, we half did everything. Not my tire riding, though. I mean, we half did a wheel. Yeah, but I did a full word. You did a full word. We, we got a speaker word. out. <laughs> we, we, we began jobs, lots of them. Peace. <laughs>